This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, Jaheem calls out Usher. He says, someone set it up. Let's move all the pawns out the way. King move, but if you scared, just do checkmate. We'll give Usher one month to set up. Nothing personal. He's one of the best. Jaheem, I'm sorry you had a good career, but Usher's... <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Nah. <laughs> uh, I'm with all the smoke. He says, the fans can make this happen immediately. I'm so serious. Jaheem, this ain't gonna happen, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah. <laughs> then we got Meek Mill. He says, I be letting people borrow foreign cars my whole adult life. Now I don't pass cars out. You, you should... I'm gonna be honest. I used to want to do that, you know, like let your friend hold your car. It's not a good idea. Nobody's going to respect your stuff. You work hard for your stuff, right? Nobody's going to respect your stuff more than you. Friends always mess it up. And then, you know, it's almost out of respect to not let people borrow your cars. Because what if they mess your car up and they don't pay for it? You don't want to be friends with that person anymore, right? So it's almost like protect. It's almost like loaning money to friends. You give money to friends. You don't loan money to friends because they won't, they won't always give you the money back. Um, so I agree with Meek Mill on that. This is funny. 50 Cent calls out this. Some girl was salty after meeting Little Meech and says that he smelt like onions. 50 Cent said, Little Meech getting uh, so fly, the, the hate is starting. She said, do you smell like a bag of onions? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Little Meech was like, come on, man. She lying straight through her teeth. Uh, fiending for a picture. <laughs> Yo, this girl was just salty because she couldn't bag him, probably. So this is a guy named Knowledge, and I guess he does remixes, and I guess he remixes, he was doing a remix series on uh, Meek Mill. He said, I'm not sure what's more idiotic, taking down the music that's giving you more exposure, or simply just not knowing what a remix is. Uh, people really uh, striked a corner freestyle that I had permission to flip from videographer. Only reason I can think of is because this one remix got more plays than Bro has had in the last 10 years. Either way, Meek series is over with grab the tapes while you can. You know what it was? It was just a uh, bot, probably, that, that you, you got to appeal it. But it's almost impossible to appeal with a big company like that. Uh, but you just have to appeal it, and they usually just let it go. Because they don't really own the rights. But it wasn't a DJ drama song and everything. So a bot will grab it and take it off platforms. That's just how it works. Uh, but I don't blame him for being mad. Because, like, there's just... It should be back to human stuff. Like, you know, a human should have to review it. But they don't do that anymore. So it's uh, it's all robot. Uh, what's it? uh, algorithms and all that kind of stuff. Bots really just comb through analytics and just take things down. Um, the game in Kanye trade uh, bars. Kevin Wong caught it. <clears throat> Go to his Instagram to check it out. Um... What's funny about that is, like, wasn't the game just really, I mean, we talked about this yesterday, disrespectful to Kim Kardashian just a few years ago while they were married, saying that he smashed prior and everything, and then Wack 100 recently was talking about they got the second part of the mixtape and they'll give it to Kanye. It's I, I, I mean, the second sex tape. It's like, come on, man. Stop. You know, what's with all the WWE stuff, you know? It's like, have some morals and principles, you know? The Gilbert Arenas and uh, Kwame Brown, they actually, I respect this. They both get on live and they go back and forth together now. It turns into uh, like an ego show and it's all fun and games because these two are just having an ego, you know, I don't know. You know, Kwame Brown, they don't respect, I don't totally respect each other. So they just went off on each other. I respect them sitting down though and doing a live session and just getting it out the way and going back and forth. Because now we don't have to hear them talking about each other behind each other's backs. It's just straight up. Kwame Brown was calling him like a show pony clown and all this other. It's just the, and then Gilbert Arenas is calling him, questioning his uh, mental state. I mean, it's just you know, these guys. These guys are uh, 
that should have been a versus. I'm gonna be honest with you. That these guys. It's always funny when two people face off and they're at odds. Uh, but you know, they're both. I mean, they both accomplished amazing things. You know. So, anyways, uh, I think that's what makes it more entertaining. You know, they both accomplished amazing things, and they're just recalling things differently uh this is jordan tower with jt news make sure you smash that like button i'll check you guys in the next one peace